Welcome to the French Drain Man channel. I'm your host, Robert Sherwood, and I just want to talk about my patented outdoor sump pump system. Now, I've been a contractor for 35 years, and I based all my experience and knowledge when we went ahead and developed a patented outdoor sump pump system. The problem we were having is just a traditional sump pump basin. It's like a mini garbage can. It doesn't hold enough water. So the sump pump has to run a lot. A sump pump only has so many cycles and it's done. Every manufacturer tests their pumps and they actually have this. This is available to you, you can look it up. They actually have how many cycles the pump has in it, how many life cycles before failure each sump pump has in it. Simply put, the less your sump pump is turned on, the longer it will last. So traditional basins didn't allow for an extended life period in a sump pump. That's why we patented our system. Instead of just having a vertical shaft, it has this big horizontal shaft that contains all the water. Now, I always recommend add more chamber length. This is how we ship them out, but you can easily take the end plate off with a T25 nut driver and go ahead and put added chamber length. I recommend it, at least three feet. The more chamber you have, the more water it takes to turn the sump pump on. So the sump pump sits in the bottom of this bad seed. This is called the, our bad seed sump pump system. As the water level goes up, so does the float on the pump. It's triggered, it goes off, and then it discharges. The extended chamber does two things. One, it makes your sump pump last 10 times longer, but Here's another thing. It makes it possible to build your system without a check valve. Why is this so important? A check valve is one of the leading causes to extra run time or extra cycling. Literally what happens when a check valve goes bad, your sump pump has all this backwash because a check valve, remember a check valve prevents the water from flowing back into the system. So once the check valve fails, and you have to replace it, before you know your check valve has failed, what is it doing? You have backwash going down into the pump. Then it's turning it back on. Now the water gets sent and it fills the line. The line's full of water, it turns off. There's no check valve working properly to stop the backflow of water to go back in. So this chambered system allows for no check valve. If you have no check valve, there's going to be some water in the line that just naturally falls back into your outdoor sump pump basin. The bad seed with the extended chamber is going to allow you to build it without a check valve. This way you never ever lose a sump pump due to a check valve failure because that is so common. People will say, God, I thought I heard it running quite a lot this week or the last couple of weeks. Seemed like it was running all the time. Well, that's because it was. The check valve went bad. It pumped the water out. The water, you know, backflowed back in and it, that continued until all those life cycles got used up and the sump pump was taken out. So this takes care of the two things that are most problematic when it comes to sump pump life It'll shorten a sump pump's life so quick if you have a small basin and you're just repeatedly going on, off, on, off because it only holds like five gallons of water or your check valve goes bad and now it's just going to turn on and off as the water flows back in and then gets sent back out and flows back in until it burns up. So our patented out there sump pump system prevents both those and literally this end plate, it's held on with a T25 nut driver, super easy to take off, super easy to extend uh, the chamber length. Now. Real quick, people always ask me, what's the difference between the micro and the full frame? Well, the micro, we can get it in smaller uh, places. Where do, where do we benefit? Uh, egress windows, love it. If you have just a small hole that's collecting water and you just need to dig a hole and drop it in. The other thing too, littler packages mean no freight charge. So our full frame, which I'm setting on the ground right now, that has to be sent on a pallet, unfortunately. The only system we have that can be sent in a box is our micro. So our micro, great for win window wells, great for small jobs. It's a one-third horse. This one has a Zoller M53 in it. This is a one-third horse. It rocks. You can take the end plate off. Again, you know, we're, we were talking about adding chamber length and just how easy it is. People, they buy three feet of chamber length. 
You could even have us take the end plate off for you and put it on the chamber length that you're purchasing if you want. That's not a problem. We try to set you up so that you have minimal installation when it comes to, I don't want you guys to have to assemble anything. I mean, I want it to be a great experience. Dig a hole and drop it in. That's what it's all about. So we could actually take the end plate off, put it on some chamber for you. That way you'd have the inlet on the end and then you would have to just with two zip ties, take the split coupler, put the split coupler on, put a couple zip ties through it, hold it tight, it's in place, done. That's how simple it is to add chamber. This is our micro bad seed. We can ship it in a box. It's become our number one seller for that very reason. Here's our full frame. Our full frame bad seed just simply displaces more water. It has a bigger power plant with a half horse. So if you have a big water problem, you know it. This is the one you wanna rock for sure. When you add and extend chamber length to this one, it's just tens if not hundreds of gallons of water you're now displacing. So we've done a lot of installs. I'm starting to you know, show more. It's hard for me to get out there with the guys and be a videographer for a day. I mean, running French Drain Man, you know, our installation thing is how we developed all these products for the DIY, but it obviously comes first. It pays the bills around here, but we like to help and we're trying to help and provide you with all the necessary tools to be successful in your outdoor dewatering needs. All right, everybody, until that next video.